What is up, Gorilla Nation? It is Relentless here, bringing you yet another Division 2 Vendor Reset video. Yes, try saying that five times fast, but I am fired up for this Vendor Reset. Uh, it is the new year. This will be the officially the second Vendor Reset of 2020. So let's kick it off right here in the base of operations. Then we'll move to the clan vendor and then to the rest. Starting out, we have a converted SMG 982. Base damage of 13,171 with Optimus Stable Transmission. G36 Enhanced, 11,187 base damage with Nearsighted Jazz Hands. And it also comes with Spear Fingers because it's in rhythm. Get it? Okay. Moving on, Custom PF45 with Eyeless Distance Cannon, 511 Backpack with 4% Weapon Damage, 14,511 Health, 18% 18 Skill Haste, On the Ropes, Hard Hitting, and Offensive Mod Slot. Moving on, an RNK Chest Piece. This is not a bad chest piece, especially if you're looking for a pistol build or just uh, a decent one piece, maybe to go with a, a crit build, crit vigilance type thing. Um, that's a pretty decent one, but, you know, it's kind of undershadowed and underutilized just because it's uh, really weak in this current state of the game but moving on an offensive mod with headshot damage two and a half percent why is this crap in this vendor moving on the best thing here at the base of operations vendor up front is this blitzkrieg blasting powder 267.1 percent striker damage requires only 1336 skill power for the skill power requirements, that 267.1 striker damage going into the battery slot is definitely a must pick up, uh, especially if you don't have anything close to 267.1%. Moving on, we have a turret mod with 48.8% skill haste. On to the level 30 clan vendor. What's up, Gary? Hey, your uh, flies ends up. Alright, at the level 30 clan vendor, we have an artist tool, 24,358 base damage with perfect rifleman stable recharged, a hardwired holster with 360 skill power, 27% skill haste, ongoing directive holster, 28.1k base armor, 7.5% crit chance, and then of course 23602 health. And it's not really that bad of an ongoing directive holster. It already has 7.5% crit chance. So if you want to make a glass cannon slash bleed build possibly, um, then you can go with uh, an extra large roll of critical hit damage or a super higher roll of health in that secondary attribute slot. on some negotiators don't like gloves. These aren't bad. Uh, if you're looking for the additional hazard protection or uh, 225 skill power, you get a, a fielder's choice on this one. If you just want to run the two-piece negotiator's dilemma that gives you the explosive resistance of 30%, then you can add 17% uh, hazard protection or go with extra skill power. The choice is yours, and it has a defensive mod slot. An officer's M9A1, base damage 20,121. Sorry, close and personal. Allegro, Wascally, the talent. No, not the rabbit. Another 586 Magnum. With Perpetuation, Distance, and Wascoey, a Suck Me Off Concern backpack with Crit Chance, Skill Haze, Critical Hit Damage, and Armor with On the Ropes and Destructive. Providence Defense, Chest Piece, Skill Power, Headshot Damage, Critical Hit Damage, Destructive, Utility, Defensive Mod Slot, 93R. 10,000.4k damage with Strained, Jazz Hands, Wascoey. And what is up with all these handguns with Wascoey? Like, damn it. Damn rabbit, you... Moving on, a Murakami Industries backpack, 13,907 armor, 5% weapon damage, critical hit damage, self-adjusting, safeguard, utility mod slot, Petrov chest piece, skill power, weapon damage, armor, critical hit damage, mad bomber, utility slot, a utility mod with 81 skill power, grenade damage and reload speed, Kim launcher mod plus 4 ammo, hive mod 36.2% health, and then finally a Kim launcher ensnare mod at 35.6% ensnare health. All right, moving on to DZ East. If it'll let me. Classic M44 Carbine, 123.3K with Ignited Jazz Hands Protected Deploy. An Infantry MG5, 19.4K. Base damage is super low because it's, I guess, well, really a 493 with Fast Hands, Allegro, and Zen. 
an Alps Summit mask, 8.5% crit chance. Uh, this would be something good just to hold on to if you don't have necessarily that high of crit chance on a mask. Uh, you can take this and put it such as like on a Hollow Man mask that might already have skill power or health on it or additional hazard protection, um, especially if you're going with like a, a crit build. So definitely this is a, a decent one to look out for. A Petrov holster, skill power, health on kill, skill haste. Utility Systems Mod, 71 Skill Power, 168 Shield Skill Power, 110 Seeker Skill Power. With a Chem Launcher Mod at 43.9% Ensnare Health. A Hive Mod with 26.4% Healing. And then finally we have a Pulse Mod with 21.4% Confused Duration. Alright, on to DZ South, and we'll see you guys when we get there. Alright, we're here at DZ South. Let's check out this vendor before moving on to the West. We have a PP-19 with Sadist. Distance, Stop, Drop, and Roll. An FAL with Perpetuation, Distance, Rooted. Next, we have an X45 with Finisher, Stable, and Greased. A DNH Backpack with Weapon Damage, Skill Haste, 17,009 Health. On the Ropes, Hard Hitting with an Offensive Mod Slot. Next, we have Percent Critical Hit Damage, 26,899 Health. Headshot Damage with Vigilance and skill duration with a defensive mod slot. Next we have an offensive mod slot of 1.5% weapon damage, 3% of get the fuck out of here, and then 4%, why is this still even a thing in the game? Moving on to a drone, 32.6% armor repair mod. Next we have a turret mod, 84.9% skill haste. Moving on to the west. All right, we've arrived in DZ West. This vendor has a double-barreled bot Sawed off sidearm with killer, stable, rooted, an urban MDR, 29 of 449 base damage, ignited, distanced, and cannon. DNH gloves, 2% shotgun damage for that bot double barrel sawed off up ahead, up above. 7% marksman rifle damage, clutch, China Light Industries knee pads, skill haste, surge, a defensive mod with 4191 armor, 1.5% health, and 8% explosive resistance. So, even though it does not have a percentage of health on them, if you're still, you know, getting one tap by some Seekers or, um, let's say, the Grenade Launcher, for the only reason why people even farm the Supply Drops in the Dark Zone, then pick up a couple of these if you didn't get the ones in the pre -ability. Yes, you'll lose some armor, but in the end, uh, you'll take less damage from explosives. Moving on to a Seeker mod, 111.8% skill haste, shield mod, 61.4% health, and then finally, we have a Firefly mod with plus four max targets. Moving on to the settlements. Right, we're here in a, the uh, campus settlement. This vendor has SOCOM MK20 SSR. First blood, not even though that, uh, even with unhinged, that would still make it really low on the uh, damage range. So uh, better look out for uh, something other than this M249 Saber money. Just do a little bit of farming. Next, we have an Alp Summit with 8.5% crit chance and concussion. Decent little mask right here. A Murakami Industries Holster with 13,626 health, 10% crit hit damage, a utility mod slot. A utility mod, 92 skill power, 2.5% explosive damage, and then 2.5% extra outgoing healing for all those support builds out there. Moving on to a Chem Launcher mod, 29.2% ensnare health. A Hive mod with 28.3% healing, so this mod is better than the previous vendors. And then a Pulse mod with 47.3% effect duration. On to our final stop, and that is the theater. Alright, we're here in the theater settlement for the final pit stop of this vendor reset. First, we have a Shotgun Ignited Jazz Hands Transmission. An M1A CQB 45.4K with Ignited Extra and Zen. Oraldi to go with the bot shotgun M870 Express version because these gloves has 12% shotgun damage with obliterate. Depleting an enemy's armor grants 30% crit hit damage for 15 seconds. Easily swap that out to something with the likes of like Wicked. Uh, and that way, um, if you got Spark on as well, then you got a two-fold system to where they're under status effect. You'll get extra damage for your no skill having shotgun ass. Moving on to the DNH knee pads, 15% skill haze, calculated a defensive systems mod. Now, this is actually a better mod that was in the previous one, so definitely go check this out if you don't have anything better. It has 38, 17 armor, 2.5% total armor, and 6% explosive resistance. Now, let's see. I will buy two myself. 
And then next we have a Seeker Healing Mod, 54.5% healing, and a Shield Mod, 26% deflect your accuracy. And finally, we have a Firefly Mod with 15% blind duration. As I always say, one man's trash is another man's treasures, so not every single piece, or maybe not even any piece, will fit to, you know certain individuals' builds, but they're all next week, uh, and don't forget to check out the PTDZSD vid, also the strongest thing in Division 2. You can check those vids out on the channel. Appreciate all love and support. We're well on our way to 12K. We'll see you guys fudging later.